In this video, we are going to see capsulorexis in two intumescent cataracts. This is the first one. The capsule has been stained. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose filling up the anterior chamber and it has been applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. And now a 26 case bent needle is taken, goes through the right side port. It incises the anterior capsule and turns and it makes a C flap. This C flap is converted into a small rexis. You can call it a mini rexis. This mini rexis can tolerate some amount of resistance when we aspirate some cortical matter and a 23 gauze Simco cannula is being used to remove some cortex. And now the nucleus is tapped and rotated. As the nucleus is tapped and rotated, lot of visc lot of cortex from behind come along the in equator anteriorly, and they are aspirated. In this way, a thorough decompression of the capsular bag is done. The nucleus is rotated clockwise as well as anticlockwise and lot of cortex comes out and now the capsular bag is completely decompressed there is the there is no high intralenticular pressure at this moment so the capsular axis ca can be done very easily enlargement of the axis this is a tangential cut at around six o'clock and now the rexis is enlarged with the help of uh, iterator forceps. And only hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose has been used for this purpose. So it saves a lot of money. This is the second case. Visco is filling up the anterior chamber. And now the 23 gauze band needle is used to incise and make a C flap. Some cortical matter comes out. This C flap is rotated and converted into a small rexus. There was some tendency to go to periphery, but it can be easily controlled. Please don't inject a lot of visco at this moment after incising because some visco may go into the bag and increase the intralenticular pressure. So, in uh, the same way, a lot of cortical matter is being removed. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated, and a lot of cortical matter which is behind the nucleus comes along the equator and it is aspirated. In this way the bag is completely decompressed. The intralenticular pressure is actually on the negative side. So there will be no tendency of the capsule to run to periphery as we try to enlarge this minirexis. Now see what happens in this case as I take a vana scissor and make a cut before that visco is injected again methyl cellulose and now as I use a vana scissor to cut the margin of the minirexis see what happens The flap is such that we have to go clockwise, otherwise 
we have to make another cut somewhere to go anti clockwise so in this case i am doing it clockwise and enlarging the mini axis into an optimum sized axis thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in doing capsular axis in your intermittent cataracts